I'm going to take a look at the pick five sequence from Monday night at Yonkers Raceway. It has a $10,000 guaranteed pool. It begins in race five. And in the first leg, I'm going 3D. The three horse, one last feeling, five to one in the morning line. Beat 30 claimers last time with a nice effort. Steps up to face the 40 claimers tonight. Needs to prove himself at this level, but the same could be said for much of the field. The five is Ballarat Boomerang. Three to one in the morning line, was hung in a slop and will toss the last start. Claimed back by the Dina Medical Barn and was racing consistently well for him. We'll look for a return to that type of form. The six, a lot better. Five to one in the program, beat the 40 claimers, then took on the 50s in the slop and that didn't go well. Back in where he fits better, Buter may have to pedal down and could get a good early seat. In race six, going three deep again, the one, Cold Creek Felipe. Three to one in the morning line, got on the engine and faded last time, now draws inside and comes right back in sequence. Should be better tonight. The two, Twig, eight to five, steps up, but still could be in the mix, has good gate speed, but is camera shy. Has gotten better since arriving from Ohio and looks like a player. Hopefully won't be over bet. The five is Barry White Hanover. Looking for a bit of a price, five to one in the morning line. Not sure if Barry is a true $30,000 claimer, but the same could be said for others in this field. May have found a spot to catch the speed. Stratton steers for the second straight time and will look for a good trip and a solid price. In race seven, I'm going to use the rail horse. Moonlight Shadow, two to one in the program, comes off an efficient win at this level, and the same can happen here, drawing the rail for the third straight time. This was Bartlett's choice over the nine to five program chalk, the five horse, another masterpiece. I'm going to string along and look for this one to double up. The two, America Dealer on, five to two in the morning line, shifts back from Philly and lands at a good spot to take a picture. Has won 7 of 32 at Yonkers, Kakali steers, and could get the top and not look back. The, the Toscano barn has been hot, and it's best to not overlook. In race 8, I'm going 3 deep. The rail horse is Nandello, and finished well and last at this level to come third by a neck. Colt comes back in sequence this time, and the Tritton barn has been clicking. Looks like a main player, and Bartlett should work a good trip from the rail. The two horses, Moonlight Kisses, 5 to 1. This veteran is dangerous at this level when drawn inside, and the price should be right to take a swing. Brennan could be on the point after the wings fold, and will play catch me if you can. The five is American Mercury, and three to one in the morning line. This is another with good gate speed. In the last two starts, has finished first, and lost last time by a head to come second. Buter will need a sharp steer, but can be in the hunt at the wire. In race nine, I'm going too deep. The one is ideal some magic. Three to one in the program. This nine-year-old has been bumping heads with some tough customers and now lands in a spot to shine. Stratton should get on the point and be tough to take down. This race must go through this veteran. The three, Sonny Weaver and five to one. Sonny has been trying hard and racing well. If Buter lands in the pocket, the Califer trainee has a chance to surprise at a square price. The 50 cent ticket reads three, five, six with one, two, five with one, two, with one, two, five, with one, three for $54 and good luck.